Where Science. are we going? Um, let's see. Uh, Volcano Man? What? Volcano? Yes, but first, oh, well, first. I think we can meet Gold Mask. Yes. And I don't remember where he is. I think he might be over here. I think he might be on. Oh, the fact that map markers work again. Yes. Oh, yeah. it's so good. Um, it's I, so good. I think we is can. This the part where the gold mask moves to the arena. It is right. Oh. Sort of. I think we will. We I have to talk, talk to him, him one more time first. Yeah, we have to talk to him and then um, we'll tell Corin where he is. And then from there. They'll both move, I think. There are so many skulls in my world right now. What is going on here? I guess I guess Rotten Needle isn't here yet. Doesn't she come here? M uh, Millicent? We yes, she her, will She will come here once we um, do some stuff. Oh. Yeah, we found her on a cliff elsewhere, but she comes. She You find her by the windmill later, yep. uh, Andrew. Ah, it's gotcha. one of the things I remember. Yep. I'll trust you. Man, I've been having... Uh, oh. Now that I'm free from Wukong prison and can feel joy again, there's <laughs> there's like, there's like so many games I want to play that like... Uh -huh. It would be fun world. to just play games with people. And I'm the, the reason why I bring this up right now is because obviously we're playing like Elden Ring seamless co-op, which is like, you know, it's like a mod that's like not meant to be part of the original game. It's like not really the way it was supposed to work. But uh, we should mod every video game. We should find a Funger mod. <laughs> someone, someone made a fucking multiplayer oh! website hosted version of Yume Niki and every single mm. Yume Niki fan game. The, like spooky hangout game. I don't know if I would I call it a hangout game. game. It's an exploration game. But yes, yeah, it's like LSD but in RPG Maker. Yes, in like the most influential yeah. RPG Maker game yeah. of all time. And like the idea of playing that with this group is extraordinarily fun just because <laughs> it's just like it's a podcast game where we could be like, hey, guys, it supports private parties as far as I know. And it's literally just <laughs> in a browser. It's just wow, in a fucking web browser. It's just it's just like for Cadia. <laughs> it's just like for Cadia. <laughs> Um, but it's cool because it, I mean, it actually is just like for Katie because the entire point I know, is, I wasn't really joking. Yeah, the point is to just go places and, I mean, it has like an ending and stuff, but like, now, you're just like. Now I want, like, the fuck, I want multiplayer shit post hacked LSD. Yeah, well, no, exactly. <laughs> it's just like you wander into places and then you're like, what do you guys think? <laughs> you know, yeah. like, that's like all it is. And it would be really cool. There, there's Reactionary our Reactionary content, finally. Uh, it could be neat. Just like, what do you think happened? What do you think's going on here? Mods increased playability of games. Do you think Skyrim would be as popular as it was without mods? Skyrim is literally popular on consoles. So yeah. yes. I know people Although they like did the modding, eventually but bring people mods do, to consoles. People but... do unironically enjoy Skyrim somehow. I've never made it past the first few hours of just staring at gray hills and uninstalling it. But I have played... So, someone plays it. A pretty yeah. remarkable amount of Skyrim, and I don't think I've ever completed the main quest. The Skyrim no, grandma it's... famously just retired. Yeah, she did. Oh. She decided she doesn't like Skyrim I thought anymore. You were, That's not I a joke. That sentence, I thought the sentence was going to end somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I mentioned this before, but I only played Skyrim on PS3, and like I think my save file was like unbeatable. After yeah. A point. It's, yeah. Like oh yeah, that game has like a game. like a, a save bloating problem. Yes. Where yes. the more you, yes. you do stuff, eventually a game just like practically can't load anymore. Yep. Yep. That happened to me. I'm teleporting back to Corin so that we can Did talk, to talk to Corin. Mask? I assume you already clicked on mask guy who, who I guess never says anything. Yeah, he doesn't say anything, so there's no so need you, to like, stop. He needs to he needs to be like acknowledged. <laughs> yeah, you just you you need to rub on him, and then once you're done rubbing on him, you can talk to Corin. Is that where Corin? You is? take a rubbing of his mask. Nomadic merchant. Wow, the winds. He's really north of Bach on the Altus Highway oh, Junction. Is. Remember not to talk to Bach or don't talk to Bach. Bye. I will hit you with a flail. Get you. I die when people oh, talk to me too. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Fox so relatable. I'm so afraid of everyone. <laughs> what is any? What has everyone done to you? 
Uh, look. Mm. Acknowledge. A grievous crime, indeed. They should stop. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Corin. Ah, you appear to be doing well. Very oh. good. Hello? Well, there we go. Would you like to learn an incantation? And there's going to be an option to tell the noble gold mask's whereabouts. Do, do you sport with me? From your description, it can be no other than the gold mask himself. Of course, of course, I knew he would be close by. Bless the golden order and its benevolent rays. And to you too, my sincerest thanks. May the golden order shine through you. All right. Uh, is there anything else we can do right? Oh no, my controller disconnected while I was spinning the camera. No, you know, look at him go. <laughs> it's just going crazy. Okay. Uh, let's see. I pulled open my spreadsheet that I made for my open my playthrough. Let's see if there's anything else that I need. To, we need to do before we talk to anyone. I don't think there is. Altus Plateau. Old Altus Tunnel, Shaded Castle, talk to Millicent again. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so let's see. Where is Altus Tunnel? Old Altus Tunnel. Let's see. Altus Tunnel is on the far right of where we are right now. The old yeah. Altus Tunnel? Oh. oh, the old one. Uh, it, is that further east somewhere in the map area we don't have yet? Maybe? Yes, I don't remember it exactly. is... Um, I believe it's like right here. Theoretically, I think. No, it's gotcha. not. Oh, it's sure. right here. So that's what we should do is we should go towards over there, which is where we want to go. The next thing to do is Shaded Castle. Are you guys ready for the Shaded Castle? Yeah. I definitely yeah. remember that level. I remember yeah. it really I distinctly. I like cool. it. I do. I think that's where we go for the prosthesis, right? Yes. Yeah. I think this was around the time I was starting to go faster. <laughs> but I think I think Shaded, Tum Tum uh, Shaded Castle is where you I fight. I can't believe Yura's still a, just alive on the ground right here for some fight, reason. You fight like Poor a, guy. a big knight uh, in a room full of furniture that breaks. Mm-hmm. I think that was the one. Yes. I really like Elmer, and I wish that he was cooler, and I wish we learned more about Aokade, but we can't all have nice things, so. I kind of think we're just at the point in the game where we just have to do the game, you know what I mean? Yeah. We just have to do it. And there's... I mean, the content, the content really thins out going forward. There's not as much wandering. It's not as dense. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff to do. We have like 70% of the game left. Yeah, but it's not like trip and find five caves every 10 meters. I suppose that's true. I feel like you've spent an eternity in like the first two zones. And then after that, it's like, mm. ah, just, just, just kind of go to all the regions. I don't know. Uh, we might I would need even to. I would even challenge it. I think I, I would say we're past the halfway point. I don't think we're, we have that much game left. I, I wonder think... how the weird um, teleporting dungeon is going to work as a group. Yeah. I you're, think... not, you're not normally allowed to co-op there, I, so that's going to be I, funny. I feel like the halfway point was all the way back at Radon. I'm checking something. I The halfway point is dead. I don't think that's Radon. Like, it, it, I, don't, I don't know if I would say that. You're supposed to do well, Radon at like level my halfway point. <laughs> 40 or 50, basically. And then, uh, and the game caps out at like level 150. So like, I say caps out, but like that's just like what a normal playthrough ends up getting to. So. Oh wait, I was built for this. Uh, I think we actually have to get to the tunnel from the lower area. I'm checking right now because I think it's damn it, damn down it, here. It, and then there's this place with all the Godwin crabs. I think they're Godwin crabs. I don't remember. They're crabs. Yeah, you abduct that virgin. <laughs> the FBI agent follow that the watches me just like perked up for a second, like, what? Mm -hmm. And 
And if Wait, so I find the tunnel, I'll just invite you all there. Oh, okay. Sorry, Colonel. Was Colonel spent all his channel points on making me ragdoll. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even that expensive. You need to watch more toaster. It's true. You got to milk him. Oh, yeah. fuck. I almost got jumped. Uh, Remember to milk your toaster. <laughs> okay, there is a... Yes, here we go. I found the place. If he doesn't get milked yeah. at least once a day, he might die. Mood. Is that how it works? Yeah. Oh. All right. I'm in the old Altus tunnel. You guys can teleport to me. I want to the, 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 the infinite stunning. Yeah. That's why I got my lightning the weapon tour. Yeah, they lightning stand, hits. They stand no chance. All right. Open the bonfire. You guys can teleport here. Uh, Once we get the map open. Oh, yeah. I've got, yeah we have we one can, more enemy yeah, to we kill. Murder this virgin. Whip this virgin. Get whipped, virgin. At some point, I might need to log into my other character, open their world, drop an item that you guys can give me. Just as an aside. That's some old school's. That's some old school Dark Souls two moments. It's my EverQuest <laughs> trading items to my alt tactic. Ah. Oh. oh, classic. When I was a young, stupid teenager, I bought so much uh, third-party uh, gold for EverQuest that I couldn't move. <laughs> <laughs> I did the same thing before. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. That's deeply funny. I also love that in order to get to the bank, I had to beg someone to give me the Swift of Swift of Wind spell or whatever. Huh. Yeah. So that way so I could get there <laughs> faster enough. Uh, I've been times, extremely man. goofy. Yeah. I remember that when you were maintaining all your bank alts in Diablo 2, you had to it made meant that you had to like log in every within every two weeks or they would just vanish out of existence. Oh, that sucks. I don't know how many people actually like bought that shit, but there were people who were advertising like selling rune items in Elden Ring, and I'm just like, oh my god, how do we like educate like warn new players that this is not that kind of game? Yeah. Like, <laughs> why, like, don't, don't, no, no, you need why that. Would you, why would you pay money for that? <laughs> There's, the thought of that is that horrible. is deeply funny though it, it is people will pay to funny. just avoid yeah. anything if they can yeah they want to feel like they're having an edge yeah as if a unique item is going to totally break this game for you at, at any point in it over leveling is like can only really hurt you in these games because i mean like unless if you like over level the max level but like if you over level to like level like 80 at the start of the game then you're going to breeze through the start of the game not learn how to play the game and then in, like the second half of the game is going to be incredibly fucking difficult i think what are you talking about wow <laughs> i think the throwing knives suck oh, guys Bolt Drake talisman <laughs> granted, that, i mean granted, you're I fighting guys game, that are made of stone i don't know if the game right? that exists prepares you for the second half of it anyway what that wow too. of this game no one was talking about oh. well. Me, I was. When? <laughs> Earlier. When he said wow. Yeah, <laughs> Who is it? Wow for a second. <laughs> yeah. Who was talking about wow? Uh, the part oh, where no, I said, me. are you guys talking about wow? <laughs> no, I... Yeah. Okay, my dex isn't maxed, <laughs> so maybe that's why. I don't think there's a way to make the Smith script daggers like actually good outside of using them as a magic wand to cast a relatively marginally Ooh. tolerable weapon art. Uh, I tried so hard to make these weapons good, but they just aren't. Well, when you put it like that. They're so cool. They're throwing they knives, very cool. but they suck. They're just, there's no way to make them viable, I don't think. I think they just suck balls. I can't even imagine taking them into PvP. I feel like that would be such a cr stupid gimmick. You could gimmick I someone just... out with them, maybe. I think, like, I... just ultimately from a design perspective, they don't want you to have a good... Uh, oh! Where did you come unlimited from? Unlimited range oh. option. Yeah. Oh, 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 hey, hey. Tried to oh. die. So it is like oh, purely God. a desperation weapon for a flying enemy. Yeah. He did. I guess that just did a thousand damage, but I could do a thousand damage like in two seconds with bastard stars. Like, oh, they're so bad. I mean, I guess they're only plus 23. What do I know? <laughs> I mean, they're ranged. I just had a thought. Like, we just got the bolt. Drake Talisman plus one or whatever. Mm -hmm. I feel like I don't know. I I think a better way to handle that 
in games like these that are fairly non-linear is to just like there should be combinable items of that kind where like if you find yeah. two of them you can merge them to turn into yeah. plus one then merge the third one or to they find to or they plus two. you like, always find them in ascending order no matter which ones you find that yeah. as well yeah so yeah but basically the same thing well yeah like i I, I feel like that's kind of how that should work. And if they Twitter. combine, then you don't have to have a rule for you can't equip two of the same kind. Well, so here's the, thing they do. here's the reason why I think it is the way it is and why I think they don't do it this way. And it's that all of the different levels of talisman weigh different amounts. So it's like ostensibly yeah. like, okay, you can use... Pearl Drake plus two on this build for this benefit. But like, if you do a different build, you could do a Pearl Drake plus four and get, you know, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Now, I think that there is merit in doing that, but maybe it's like if you get all the pieces, maybe you can decide to keep certain aspects. Right? I mean, why can't you, you just? Can why can't it just be a or something? Like, yeah, I don't yeah. Know, like Lego them back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say you could just choose the value of it when you're equipping it. You can say like, do you want one, two, or three equipped? And you're like, mm -hmm. I want one. And then that yeah. way you can't double up, which I think is fine. I think that's a loss that you can definitely endure of like who's who's using three level variations of one type of rune. It's just when you really want to beat that dragon. I mean, I don't think it's even gonna do an I don't th the the waste of space for using the same talisman three oh, this times. Room's full of like... explosives, isn't it? Yeah, it is. They're having real bad oh, yeah. times with the stats. Oh, God. Oh, well, he's made of stone. He's got hit by every single that's... one of them. Bye. Uh... Aegis Lord says, I unironically use script daggers through New Game Plus 4. When I say that they're bad and unviable, it is not me saying that it is impossible to beat the game with them. I have beaten Bloodborne with the torch. That does not make the torch a well-balanced weapon. They are worse than I other love options, I... but the floor is pretty high. Yep. I love that when it prompts me, hey, do you want to teleport? And I go, no, I don't. And the game goes, I don't respect that, and just takes me anyways. <laughs> and then knowing that because ah. it did that, I am now definitely going to be stuck on the loading screen because that's why I said no in the beginning is because it always fails. So You should just always say yes. But no, because if I say yes, it fails. That's why I say no <laughs> is because I, I, I have to decline it because if I agree, it will always you fail. You just need to let it happen that to that you, me. Andrew. You need to just accept it. Also, this is the correct way to the Shaded Castle. We found it. We did it. I need to be banished. Okay. Dame, Dane. Outside the tunnel is the um, this troll that... Uh, was like glitched in the unpatched version of the game. He used to have a cape. He doesn't have a cape anymore. Um, but he he also had like uh incorrect AI or like incorrect parameters set. So he would always like die in just like one or two hits. <laughs> in the unpatched version, like no matter how weak your weapon was, because he had like forty health or something like that. That's cool. You always feel strong. I thought it was interesting too because his his look changed as well. I was like, huh, what you know? Why did he used to have a cape though? But that's that's just a parameter as well, which I didn't realize. Because it wasn't like a fully different model they had to load. It's they can mask different parts of the model, which makes sense. That's not a big surprise, but it's a castle, or I guess more of a ruin. I really wish I could collide with the dangly on your staff. Oh, the, the silly little like planets hanging down. They yeah. jingle. They're the only flail that jingles. They jingle. Yeah. Yeah. When it's really quiet, you can hear them just like just wind chiming. It's fun. Hi Apollo. Hi everyone oh, in my oh, chat. We're just waiting for everyone to get back in. Yeah, there we go. It'd be funny if it made enemies like hear you more easily if you couldn't use stealth. That would be fascinating. I'm trying to sneak past these enemies. But the jingle of my bells. 
That would be a, f- a funny as hell gimmick weapon in these games. It's just like a weird, like, very just noisy weapon that makes loud noises at, just as you're yeah. like, carrying it around. And, uh, a mechanic where it's harder to stealth the more cheeked up you are. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that is sort of like, uh, yeah, enemies can't hear-, hear you from further if you're wearing heavier armor. But um, if they, like, really exaggerated the fact- effect with something that was, like, cartoonishly... Loud. Yeah, but you just pick up the Lethal Company robot toy. Does it get exactly, easier exactly. to hear you when you set your body slider to have a thick butt? Yeah. All right. See that that would be they would be cooking the face. That's that exactly thing. exactly. What will FromSoft think of next? What game did I play where like your arm length actually gave you more weapon reach? Uh, I think it was Mortal Online. I don't know about Mortal Online, but that is a thing in a few games. I, I played a game recently that was like that, just on my own, and I'm trying to remember what it was. I don't remember. Elden Ring. Oh, we're <laughs> all just sitting around. I didn't realize that. Yeah, that's yeah. fun, sister. Oh, that we're talking about clapping cheeks. <laughs> I was trying I mean, to we, we were, or are, but... We were, we were bonding. All right, enough bondage. Let's go. Ooh. Poison. To be clear, right now I'm just looking around. I'm trying to remember what is here and what isn't here. Yeah, I I seem to remember like online messages in this corner complaining about like a lack of stuff over here. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's like my memory of this little nook over here. Like, oh, you know, gosh. why is it always nothing or whatever? The something death like creatures. that. Why is it always cliff? Yeah, there is nothing. It's Fulgur Bloom, I think. Or Mikola's at least, that's it. And you can't jump across this chasm. There's too much chasm. Mikola's <laughs> lilies and Trina's lilies. Mm. What does it mean? It actually means a lot. This place is useful for... We knew Mikola was here at one point. Oh, when their throat fully inflates, you can see the jagged edges on the polygons. Mm-hmm. Oh, because it's like the texture is just like stretched. Yeah. As much. Yeah. yeah. It's Bastard not perfectly stars curved. It do such crazy fucking damage. Uh, 800 damage a hit in base game. And I'm like not even maxed out on the scaling stats. Shit's insane. This weapon is straight up good. I do 600 damage. I can help you guys fight the basilisks. Or I could watch. I'm having fun. Just hitting him. <laughs> it does My give these zombies 5,000 health using our s- new scaling stats because we made the game harder, everyone. <laughs> because Illustri <laughs> here is a glutton for punishment. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we definitely didn't overdo it or, or anything. So, I We're, mean, it's also, it's how fast that troll went down? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, we're still shredding people. Uh, weird glowy cliff. It, d- it d- dissolved my horse. He's dead. Oh no. My hot wing. I dropped it in the blue <laughs> Torrent, cheese. more like Planescape Torment. Because <laughs> I already forgot you. Got him. Have fun, oh. illusory. I can't do crits. Oops. Oops. <laughs> he heard me coming anyways. It's all right. Got him. Uh, that didn't do anything. Eat bleed, you loser. All right. Da, 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 da. Hello. I'm not a bad guy. Why are you attacking me? Ow, ow, ow. Just hear me out. I didn't even do anything. Honestly, this Jesus was self defense. Big hit. Yeah. What? What? Do I... While writing. It's just nice. uh, Andrew's just actively like cratering the environment around us. Painting in here. Oh no! It's oh, it's uh. Never mind. That's Ka. Yeah. yeah. No, that's not me. Oh, there's a place that we can I go. I saw a big red about. club looking attack, and then I saw your big red club. Oh, stinky slugs. Nice. 
Maybe I'll get the weapon for my build today. Uh, I do not think we'll, we we will be getting to <laughs> Volcano Manor today. We will not be doing the Hosler quest yet. I do we'll not think so. We'll finish my build just in time for the finale. <laughs> <laughs> you get your pretty rip right in time for Battle Kiff. I mean, until you're then, uh... I, until then, I use teeth. Your whip right, your your build right now is pretty much complete. It, the optimization you get from using the Hosler whip doesn't really make that much of a difference. Yeah, my build's the shitty one. All it do is kill. I need. Yeah, more I haven't pizzazz. figured out how to kill yet. I'm kind of just. I'm kind of decoding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just rested because I thought I was activating. Demon. Oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> Where's everybody? Oh, there they are. I mean, Illusory is using the same sword he used literally at the opening of the game, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, I've been. I what is that, the really Lord Sword, Great Sword, or whatever? Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that just goes to show it doesn't really matter what weapon you use. It's kind of funny. It does. It just doesn't matter when the weapon's introduced. <laughs> well, yes, that's true. But also, I mean, more along the lines of like, you can make anything work. It's fine. A build is a build. You generally play the game the same unless there's a different move set that you're particularly there going for. There should be for. a laser whip called the Cypher Belmont. <laughs> Okay, well, glad. And then just make that work in the lore. They they keep making the Moonlight Greatsword work, so it'll probably be fine. Where's that stinky guy on the horse? Is he here? I don't know. Where the hell is he? Oh, I, I think he's a, up a level. I should get like a frog tongue that I can wield alongside my teeth my teeth whip and I can give people a tongue lashing. What the that fuck are you talking about? Oh. Yeah, Keith sometimes just says things and I have to wonder. Oh, 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 I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh, yeah, Illusory, I got that Illusory, you fool. You were the chosen one. Oh, no. I might become a spellcaster just to have another button. You could do that. <laughs> I can be <laughs> bored. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm like doing it. one thing the whole playthrough. <laughs> yeah, but you do that one thing really well. Oh, where are you guys? Okay, Shady Castle Ramparts. Let's see what spellcasting tree has the most bleeding? Uh, uh, th arcane. There is a specific spell set for blood sorceries. Unfortunately, they oh. all kind of suck and are oh. worth using. Oh, was that well. you who's doing? Who? Wait, who's? Is that you who's casting that? Nope. Uh, I think okay. that's a poison flower. I'm glad I got out of the way then. The constant doubt of whether or not the things on the screen are hostile or, or friendly. Oh, effects. God, there was a perfumer right behind me, and I didn't even recognize him. I turned around and just thought I saw a human. <laughs> oh, Friend. I'm still, I'm uh -oh. still targeting this Time dead they guy. changed. <laughs> yeah, this guy's dead. Why is he targetable? What a tease. He's the just time of day change there. whenever Toaster dies is super startling. Yeah. Uh, just what just for a moment, you're I... like, is the Berserker Eclipse happening? Mm -hmm. This is it. Jeez, enemies do so much damage. Those perfumers are fucking deadly. Uh oh. Yeah, it's that flower doing it. Bad flower. Ah. Oh. Ooh. No, I don't know what you were doing, but don't do that. Okay. Uh, stinky flower. Could you stop? Hey oh! Uh oh, wait. There's a lot of little guys down here. I'm trying to think what a fun, unique feeling God, sword on fire. spellcaster build would be. Ow! You could use the carrion sorcery sword as like a kind of cheap bullet art sword, and then just like poke people with a rapier. Just <laughs> hyper specialize in Malaketh's blade. <laughs> I'm the one who does the bleed. And just cast it bleeding? over and over and over. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. That's just a rerun of Is my there... main campaign where that became the only spell I would ever try to get off during fights. Because it was just so powerful that it was worth it. But then I switched to the bonfire sword and that thing just has Malachite's Blade as a weapon art, but better. 
because it gives you an absurd amount of like hyper armor and it has a two hit combo and it just shreds the enemy's health bar if they don't fully stun you out of it. <laughs> and that's the only, like, that was just me desperately trying to beat the nightmarish final bosses and stuff in the middle of like Malaketh or Melania. Oh, doing infinity Wait, anime no. combos. So you could just like you could just like tank them and just try to like do a super hit on them. That's a spider guy. Not the spider guy. You, I mean, oh, you're kind of stinky. Hands we guy. should probably kill you. Stop sitting in a corner by yourself. That's weird behavior. A revenant? Oh, I didn't even realize he was right there. I, I was the one who called him. I guess he just ran out of my range. Ow! Ow. No, back please up, stop. Back up here. Do, get hit in a the lot AOE. Of damage. Pump. Bye. Oh, yeah. Caw can just offensively heal him and stun lock him to death. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, heal hurts him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like right. That's enemy specific that enemy. Against. That's good oh, for you. God. Got flashback oh. to the most cathartic moment in any JRPG for me. Healing Where, uh, that hurts. Yeah. The fucking. I got stuck in Final Fantasy X for so long on that airship battle you have against like the wyvern or whatever. And you, but like you fight the same. The same enemy shows up later as an undead. <laughs> And you're like, not him again. Then you realize you can kill him with like Wait. three Phoenix Downs. Oh. oh, perfumers are so Let's dangerous see. now. They do so much fucking damage. Holy shit. Good. Yeah, people hurt. Ooh. Hurt people. Whoa, ow, whoa. That's Ooh. a lot of fire damage. Have you considered you're a threat? That's so lethal. Oh my Depraved God. Depraved perfumer. Do I have the? Oh, I haven't gone. I haven't tried to craft in recent memory. I'm wondering if I have what I need. Oh, he's another perfumery belt blended in with the environment. Ah! <laughs> uh, nah, he's dead. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I can make spark aromatics yet, because that would be there, really there useful. Were, there were no spaces in that sentence. <laughs> oh. Whoa. No need to Wahoo. spit on the ground. It's kind of. Rude. Gritty. I just made a basilisk teleport. So that was my cool trick of the day. <clears throat> nice. Where? Wait, where, where did he teleport go? to? Um, well, I'll never tell. Like right next to where he was. Oh, oh okay, okay. Oh, I forgot I to grab my souls it. back up there, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get them now. That's like 200... Oh, no, I can. Okay. I was like, that's 250,000 souls or something like that, I think. Which probably isn't even a level anymore. <laughs> no, I think... It's not about the level. It's about the achievement. Those are your hard-earned souls. Your useless pile of souls. <laughs> Just because you don't have enough money to buy a car right now doesn't mean you can't buy a car if you save up your souls long enough. You're like, those souls could have fed a village and you just wasted them. It's true. Are we do we need to go upstairs? What do we need to do Excellent. now? Can people can people a, eat a bladder? <laughs> yeah, can't you eat the souls in Dark Souls? Right? Is that what you do with it? Do you just crush it in your hand and do nothing else? You Doesn't feed you the fire in your soul with it, I think, is like technically the what you're actually doing. Okay. So I mean it's tangentially feeding something. <laughs> Not you specifically, but something is fed. Uh, uh -huh. what? How did I not hit that guy? Oh, oh, get off! Ew, ew. You do know, right? <laughs> oh. I don't like that. You should get, wear get a mask if you're gonna get that close the, to somebody. From the poop monster. Yeah. Well, that's unsatisfying. Did he survive the fall down there? Yeah, oh, he did. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> oh, with the trend of health, that's very funny. I could probably shoot him. Well, or maybe not. I don't love the giant spray of gross shit that goes everywhere every time we hit these guys. Incoming. Oh, 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 oh my fucking kidney! That wasn't oh. a crystal light, it was a rotten night. Still, that guy hurt. He took me from like 100 to 25 <laughs> really quickly. <laughs> Ooh, a chest. Ooh, what did he drop? Hello? Armor. Armor. Valkyrie's prosthesis. That's, oh, that's right. the plot thing. For Millicent, yeah. You can't just steal someone's arm like that. Yeah, I can. It's easy. Is this a. This is yeah. not a talisman? Is this a talisman? 
No, Millicent's prosthesis is a talisman. Yeah, I think you get that. After her quest, that's, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say that's after her quest, right? After you do the giant fight or whatever. So was the Rot Knight protecting the prosthesis? Probably. Sounds like a holy artifact. It just seems like a noteworthy thing that there's a Rot Knight right mm -hmm. next to that item. What are you doing in the tree? Get down from there. It's possible one of the clean Rot Knights was looking for a new prosthesis for millennia. They tracked it here. There's Stinky Horse Guy. Get off the horse. Uh oh. Ooh. I can't see anything. <laughs> you don't need to uh, be able okay. to. He got up. Yeah, it's Dark Souls. Ow. Ho, 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 ho. Just... Whatever that was, that hurt a lot. Uh, no, I'm full of worms. Oh, I'm well. in danger. Have you tried not being I tried to heal, and I didn't heal fast enough. I need someone oh, to deworm you. me. Yeah, I was going to say, do it. does anyone have any ivermectin on them? <laughs> no, we need to save that. We need to save that in case there's another pandemic. Oh, okay. yeah, oh, yeah. They moved again. Oh, I forgot about the horse dewormer. Jesus. <laughs> it's been a while. It feels like it's been 30 years. There are a lot of video games. Toaster was born the day ivermectin was relevant. It's true. What? <laughs> Yeah, I can't. It, I have no idea what Keith's talking about. I don't know what you're referencing. The like FDA made oh, toaster. I am 31, so fuck. Yeah, I thought you just turned 30. No, nope. damn, dude, kind of old. I'm, I'm 31. Damn, lie. dude, kind of old. <laughs> damn, <laughs> dude, getting a little crusty. Let's get the new model. <laughs> Those joints still work. Uh, no, that's the. Is that the defining feature of 30? Joint. He started the patching first of all. That's different. That's unrelated to his age, though. That's his... You gotta get the know. Toaster Pro for proper ray tracing. I need to remember Ooh. where to go. I'm very lost right now. There was an uh, item that we missed, grass. but that's fine. There, there's a couple enemies down here that I think is a dead end if we want to go back down and fight them. Wait, where? Like, it's like backtrack. Oh, oh, we need backtrack? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's anything that useful over here. But I'm pretty sure this this wing is a dead end if we want to clear it out. Hell yeah, I like. Oh, 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 oh. okay. At least I think killed it, yeah. everything. Oh well, damn. Ready? I got these. What guys. the hell? Because we, this guy's gonna pop out of the ground over here. He's. Oh, I hate have... this guy. Well, we've got two guys to worry about. Oh, yeah. quick, car, heal him. Yeah. Oh, oh. Man st stuck on the trees. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, that worked really well. Very effective. Just deleted his entire health bar in one go. Die, horse man. I was it. also German here. for the the horse man. There is a boss of this area, yeah. Yes, yeah, there is. Okay. Yeah, it's the it's the, the ball ladder, the Yeah, yeah, yeah it's and I went Elmer. Up. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't losing my mind. Wish somebody would tell me. Elmer is the glue that holds us together. Yeah. I hope go, not. That's uh, the weakest glue of them all. Elmer, the rabbit hunter. <laughs> I think in Dark Souls syntax, it would be Elmer, hunter of rabbits. Rabbits. Yeah. There yep. you go. Has to be passive voice. No, that is L, uh, Hunter of <laughs> Wabbits. With a W. Oh, well, yeah, that'd be the correct pronunciation. The season of Wabbits. But how would you spell it? Or accurate. They got to spell it with an R still. Oh, they, oh they, it's, yell, it's like it's a Welsh word. The subtitles don't, don't <laughs> match with the spelling. <laughs> yeah. It would be funny to hear a narrator say that. Pronounced shadow tree fat fragment. House Marais <laughs> is ruined. Just desserts for falling uh, for that severed harpy. No surprise that guilty Cretan took the castle and our storied sword. What could it mean? Oh, bad dogs. That severed harpy. Who's the severed harpy? And who's the guilty Cretan? Oh, that's me. Sorry. 
Again. Oh my god, a dog just fell. Uh, it's fine. It was a bad it. dog. There's never a bad dog. Just a bad owner. Eh. Uh. <laughs> mm. I might draw the line as zombie. No. No, you could still I, you could still raise a good zombie dog. <laughs> From zombie the dead. Dog, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh. That's the rot mate. <laughs> See him. I guess it is in context since all of us. It just isn't funny for the stream because they don't have the context. I was thinking of the. Uh... Whoa, bud! Can you not sh shoot shit? <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, I almost flung myself off the edge. Halo scythe. That's fun. Not very good, but fun. What would the uh, what would the irate dogs people rate the zombie dogs? <laughs> I think you know uh, the answer they, to they, that question. Depends on what you name it. <laughs> yeah, they definitely give it a white name. Depends on what you name it. It would be a 12 out of seven heckin' good dogger puppo, and then... But mysteriously, this undead eldritch horror dog is named Jake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ooh, armor and a stone. Beautiful. Man, if someone found my bag, it must be the most insanely uh, unhinged bag of goods ever. Just... Like your current inventory in the game? Yeah, like my current inventory in the game. No, he's talking oh, yes. about his everyday carry in real life. Yeah, 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 which, yeah. which also contains carry. several limbs. Well, you, if you lose them, you're going to look like an idiot for not having any spares to put on. Where was the armor that you were just talking about? Or did you just it pick it up? It was on the person. Oh, god! Gotcha. I just picked off a dead guy. I thought you meant there was like a chest or something. Mm -mm. Sorry, I should have specified. Just pillaging a corpse. Don't mind me. All right, boss fight. Let's go. Easy boss. We're going to beat him in so one what try. Is... Sorry, what's the point of these statues? They're statues. The one... Uh... He accidentally like okay. made a typo on the order sheet, and they were like, "Oh fuck, we okay. gotta put these all somewhere." <laughs> I was wondering. I just there, there's a lot of them, right? Like I would, I can understand. I understand what they're there for, but in the quantity, <laughs> it makes it confusing. Yeah, they wanted like one three hundred meter tall it's statue, but they ordered like three hundred oh, meter. Yeah, he does, a lot, yeah. <laughs> Oop, yeah, he does a lot of. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Oh no, my heart. How you doing? You doing all right, buddy? Oh, please. Please. All right, here you can face the wrath of my friend. He's really good at killing. He us. killed me. Wow. Yeah, he does. He do that. He does a lot of okay. damage now. This is a lot of effects. <laughs> oh, I missed him. Oh, I'm gonna come back up here to get my fucking souls. Ugh. Nailed it. Ugh. All right. I should have just parried him. Ooh. Should have just parried him to death. Oops. Rest here, please. Whoa. Whoa. Chill out. Damn. <laughs> Your guy gave his best. You don't need to fucking reprimand him like that. Now look at him. Now he died. Look what you <laughs> I did. I dissolved him with my words. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think was running back here, so resting at the bonfire might have made the run back harder. <laughs> no, I okay. could teleport to the bonfire, but also yeah, there's oh, a stake of America. That's what I okay. needed. Yeah. All right. Power word banish. <laughs> <sighs> I hate furniture. But yeah. So this is. Were these? House Mirai, they're the people that designed the Clean Rot Knight armor and the the prosthetics that uh, obviously Millennia used. They pledged allegiance to Millennia. And I think the guilty Cretan is uh, Elmer. obviously. Uh, he came back to punish them. Elmer of the Briar, he is a creepy ascetic who hates people. And that's pretty much all the info we know about him. We don't get a lot more information Relatable. about him specifically. 
um, his land and his like story is for all we know, kind of just empty. Like we just don't know anything about it. Um, we, so we got the Valkyrie. want to tell you, go away. Yeah, exactly. Uh, now we got the Valkyrie's prosthesis, but I don't remember if there's anything else here because the house Mirai set is really cool fashion wise, but I don't, I don't even know if we get it here. I don't think it really matters. So what are we going to do next? Die on the elevator because there were dogs and a clean rot night. Uh, oh. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. I'm just, I was just killing time. Um, the next thing that we need to do is go talk to Millicent. And then after that, mm -hmm. talk to Bach. Oh, do I have any soul? Bach? Second Church of America. I think we already got Second. that. How many she got? Mount Gelmir is after this. Uh, sorry, I was looking at notable locations here. So yeah, I guess Mount Gelmir is probably where we're going next. To the bridge? Uh, to the bridge. Oh no. Oh, someone oh. combat? Nope, I'm fine. I juked the clean rot knight into stepping onto the elevator, and then the dog fell in a pit, so. Nice. Still not enough? Damn, dude. All right. Bridge of Inequality. That sounds like a good name. <clears throat> Iniquity, not inequality, you dingus. Uh, I don't know how to read. It, it was presumptuous of me to assume that you did. Similar, but not the same. Uh, there was all right. a lot of data for you to learn from. First off, let's go back to Millicent really quickly just to give her the prosthetic. We can actually blitz a bunch of interactions with her, and I think this also opens up uh, stuff from Gowrie. Yes, including uh, Pestroids. Just teleported here for nothing? Erd Tree Gazing Hill. Uh, okay, a little down south. Oh yeah, I guess it's still the hill September. where you could never possibly miss her. She's completely obvious. She's very obvious. <laughs> She's fucking invisible while you're walking towards her. <laughs> I mean, I totally cannot relate. I'm gonna walk right towards her right now, and the camera is gonna. Oh. Just point they it they out. so desperately had to had add the patches where they added icons to the map because there's no way to find these characters. It's so you can see her right there. You can see her right there, and then you turn, and oh, what is this dead end on this cliff? Oh, there's a person standing there in the center. Okay. Now, Do you think Toast River gets tired of being wrong all the time? <laughs> She's passed into the lands that lie beyond the earth tree. I feel Hi, like, Wilson. Hi. <laughs> I feel like that David Lynch meme where he's like, Einstein, this burden must have been so great. Fucking idiots everywhere. Let's give uh, Millicent the prosthetic. Are you giving me this arm? Thank you. I am in uh -huh. debt yet again. I think if the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. What would I need it for, girl? Why would you ask if I'm sure to part with it? Like, for me to wield I've got both my arms. Where, you, where am I going to put it? Aid you in battle. I got the if quest the already arm, done. Dialogue, possible, I think. Perhaps. Okay. Oh, you didn't get the full dialogue. I got it. No, yeah, no, I meant Keith. We we progressed the world state, so by the time Keith got to it, she had already accepted. Oh, gotcha. Uh, I thought he was standing right was, next to me. I was standing right there. Yeah, there's like a one second window. Uh, yeah. Well, when I talked to her. She was she was like, "If the arm is good enough, perhaps I could use a sword." And that's it. Yeah, that's all she says. Yeah. I mean, like, I never gave it to her. Oh, gotcha. Um, oh. I believe we can just go to Dominula now, and Millicent will be there. 
Dum, num, 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 num. All the way back to where we started today, on the top uh, of the map. Oh. There she is. With the windmills. Hey, girl. And the dead old ladies. They're not dead. They're dancing. They're, they're alive. They're not undead? They're not like zombie old ladies? No, or they're just people. Bro, they need to work on their skin routine. They're, pro they they're probably 2,000 years old, dude. That's no excuse to you not think moisturize. dead people would have those moves? Yes, actually. We just fought a bunch of dead dogs that can move like that. Okay, are we all here? Kai's probably Who's stuck in a loading screen. No, uh -oh. I just uh, went to the bottom of the hill instead of the top. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, there he is. Hiccup. Oh my gosh, so powerful. Ready? All right, let's talk to her. Ah, oh, we meet yet again. The arm you gave me truly is a thing of wonder. It feels just like my own. Even handling a sword. Perhaps it is foolish to say this to you of all people, but I am sure of my skill with the sword. Thus, I would have you call upon me in battle, should you ever have the need. I would have you call upon me. It is the only... There we go. She just tells us that we can call on her. And now, Ka, are we detouring to... Uh, I can just go pick up uh, the spell from Gowry. I don't know if anyone else wants to go. I think he gets new dialogue. We can go, we'll go take a look. Where is he? Celia under stare in Kaled. Oh, that there. fucker. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're always like deciding like which is the closest one I'm gonna get warp to to get to him. The answer is the one that's downstairs. Don't fall for the upstairs one. You have to do cliff shit. <laughs> So much of our early co-op experience was defined by Gowrie's bullshit. Yeah. Oh. I should buy a new motherboard. I think I'm going to have to buy a new NVMe drive. Ouch. Yeah, you probably should. Um, nothing. wrong uh, with they, it just... Oh, no. Don't kill me, old man. I'm innocent. Um... Mine just keeps hitching the game every so often, and I'm pretty confident that's a sign of, like, death. I mean, the game oh, no. just hitches. No, I mean, like, the game literally stops moving, but everything else in the computer's fine. Yeah, that's just Elden Ring. Oh, it's okay. It still feels weird that there's just, like, a dog hanging out here, but he does aggro. <laughs> it right? just seems so yeah, obvious that he'd be not, not hostile. Right. Are we all like coming to Gowry, or is... I'm making sure I understand. Uh, Illusory and I are at Gowry, I think. Yes. Yeah. I, I don't know where I am right now. Andrew, I think you're um, in the swamp. I am in the swamp. Yeah. <laughs> you To get there, you go to... No, you don't want to go to Church of the Plague. You want to go to Celia under stair? I did, and then I got in the swamp somehow. What the hell happened? You have to we'll go up the stairs. The town. Yeah, yeah, into the town and then to the right. Got to warp to Celia under boob. Ka, okay. where are you? We came here for you. I am standing next to you. You probably just can't see me. Oh, you're just invisible. Okay. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Go, are you here? Oh, are you here, Toaster? I, don't, I only see illusory. Oh, it's go okay. It's just stairs. Keith who I don't see. Great. Oh no no! It, oh wait, Keith, you're here. I only. <laughs> it just keeps Ow. going. Yeah, no, I only see Toaster and, and Ka. Yeah, I, I exclusively see, see Illusory here, and no one else. All right. oh, well, hello. let's talk to Gallery. Oh, I was like, welcome. did everyone get lost? Welcome. How may I help? Yes. All right. I gave Millicent the prosthesis. Is the option we will pick. So you gave Millicent a golden arm replacement. This is a wonderful development. Thank you for your kindness. Now, Millicent ah. may fully realize her true warrior's potential, like her beautiful mother. About Millicent. The girl, Millicent, she is a bird, green and undeveloped, waiting to flower into magnificence. What a wondrous day that will be. In truth, before her, I'd never seen a bud of such superior quality. She might very well outshine her sisters. 
All right. Piss Do you have an interest in rot incantations? Then you might like to learn something of the history of Melania, goddess of scarlet rot. About Melania. Queen oh, Melania and her king consort Radigan were blessed with twin demigods, and Melania was one of them. She was born an Empyrean carrying the scarlet rot. An Empyrean is no mere demigod. In the age of the Elden Ring and Queen Manica, the precious Empyrean was born, a new god to forge a new order. Since Melania fought Radan, and the great scarlet flower blossomed in Aeonia, I have dedicated myself to her and to the resplendence of the Order of Rot. A cycle of decay and rebirth. So we get some interesting lore there. Millennia, the goddess of rot, born as an Empyrean. Empyreans came about apparently in the age of the Elden Ring and of Queen Merica. We already know a lot about Empyreans, uh, and we already know that that might not, in fact, be 100% true. Uh, but yeah, she's a, she is an Empyrean, Millennia was, and apparently Millicent is her daughter, a bud that uh, was born of the Scarlet Rot, and there were others like her too. She has sisters.